Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be something a little bit different and I'm sorry if I'm a little echoey, but we are inside of my bathroom right now. I'm going to be doing my weekend shower routine and we are going to be doing a coffee scented theme. So I'm really excited to show you guys kind of a little shower routine um, slash like pamper routine. Um, this is usually what I do on the weekends. I will, um, you know, do a regular shower. I actually just got done with a run. Um, so I'm still on my run clothes, um, but I already ate and I've cooled down a little bit. So I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to exfoliate, shave, and then I'm also going to show you guys my self tan routine. And then we'll go ahead and moisturize after all the self tanner is done. Um, but yeah, I was really inspired by Self Care by Catherine to do a shower routine and um, I thought it would be really fun to share with you guys. And weekends for me are a really fun time to just be able to like pamper myself and take as long as I want um, in the shower and take a day shower, which I usually only do on weekends. And yeah, I wanna show you guys everything that I'm gonna use today. I usually go for like a coffee scented candle on the weekends. Um, so I figured that I would actually do a whole coffee scented routine for the shower. So very excited to get into it. So to start, I'm going to light a few candles. I have white caramel cold brew here. This is from last spring. This is also in my um, project wax right now. And I'm gonna light this. This is literally like my favorite candle from Bath and Body Works. And they don't, I don't think they've come out with it again um, this year yet. They usually bring it out like once a year. Um, but I've heard whipped coffee is kind of similar. So if you're looking for a coffee scented candle, you can try whipped coffee. I will be trying that after I finish this candle. And then I have my um, lighter that I got from Amazon. This is really cool. It's an electric lighter and it's basically like a taser. So you turn it on and then um, you press the on button and it creates like an electric current. Um, that will light your candles. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this candle in the bathroom and I'm also going to light pumpkin spice latte. Um, this is from last fall, 2020 fall, and this one smells really good too. I don't get any pumpkin spice in this candle like at all. It just smells like coffee to me. I'm gonna light this one and go leave it in my bedroom so my bedroom can start smelling like coffee. So when I go in there later, it'll smell really good. So I'm gonna light this one. I'll be right back. Okay, so for products, I decided to bring out the Vanilla Mocha Cafe line from the fall. I had this in my fall project use it up. So all of the products are like kind of halfway used and um, besides the spray because I don't use a lot of spray, but it's like by, about right here. Um, and so I'm going to be using this today. I'm actually gonna be putting this back in my spring project use it up so I can kind of finish it um, because I don't wanna leave like half open products in my collection, but I'll be using the shower gel, the body lotion and the spray today. And also in the shower, I'll be using the Vanilla Bean Noel Confetti Body Scrub. I love the whipped confetti body scrub formula. Um, except that the beads in here I think are microplastics, so that's not good for our envi environment, but I do like how it feels. I love um, Bath & Body Works body scrubs. They're like, just like a really good texture, and this one actually like suds up in the shower, so it's really, it's like kind of fun. Um, and then if I do want to go in with a body cream, I'm not sure if I will yet. I'm going to go in with coconut cream pie um, from this spring. I feel like coconut and coffee is like a really good combo. And this is just bakery enough to be like a bakery plus coffee. So I think that'll be really yummy. And then also on the days that I shave, I always go in with a body oil before I put anything else on. Like right out of the shower, I'll put a body oil on. Right now I'm using the Stress Relief Eucalyptus Tea. This is like the only body oil that I actually own right now. So yeah, I actually really love this though. It's a very good like calming, relaxing scent. Um, but I do really love how the Bath & Body Works oils feel because they keep your legs um, smooth even a few days after you've already used it and shaved. So I really love this formula. And for self tanner, I'm going to be using the Mind Tan Olive Self Tan Foam. Um, this says you can leave it on for one hour, but I usually leave it on for two. I'll show you guys the whole process, but I have my mitt right here also from Mind Tan. Um, yeah, and I really love the olive color um, self tanner because it really fits my skin tone and yeah before I hop in the shower I'm actually going to be using this dry brush from eco tools on just like my dry skin 
and kind of buff around. This helps get rid of dead skin. I really like it. And um, then I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower. And we are going to be filming with my phone for shower content and just do like a little voiceover for you guys. So kind of be like TikTok style. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get in the shower. Okay guys, just a quick overview of what inside my shower looks like and we're going to go ahead and turn her on. I like to do it a little bit warm to start. I might do it hotter later on, um, but first we're just going to start off before I get in the shower with the dry brush and then I'm going to go in with shampoo. I like to get my hair out of the way before I wash my body. Um, and then I wash out the shampoo and we're going to be using a hair mask today from BioKeratin and I'll leave that in while I do my body. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my face because like I said, I just shower, I mean I showered, I just ran. I'm showering now. <laughs> I'm using Vanilla Mocha Cafe like I said and I love the Bath & Body Works shower gels because they suds up so much and makes you feel like you're getting super clean. Um, going in with the body scrub. I love the texture of this. It is like so coarse and it's my favorite and it also suds up and I'm using a little eco, eco tools um, buffing sponge that I got from Ulta. We're going to go in with some shave gel and my flamingo razor. I love these razors. I get them from Target and you can just like interchange the head so every time you don't have to buy like a new um, handle you just interchange the head okay I'm out of the shower the screen might get foggy uh, it's very foggy in here but before I do my self tanner I'm going to put on some lotion and I really only put this on like my joints because that's where they say the um, self tanner sticks so like my elbows my shoulders my armpits and I'll put like a little bit everywhere else especially the hands the hands will get very odd looking if you don't lotion them before self tanning. Okay, I've finished moisturizing the body. I'm actually gonna moisturize my face with this Cetaphil lotion. Um, a lot of people don't self tan their face or they use specific self tanners made for your face, but I just use the body one on my face very, very sparingly. Um, I haven't had any problems with it, but of course, if you have sensitive skin, probably not a good idea. Um, you might want to look into like actual self tanning drops for the face or something like that or self tanner that's meant for sensitive skin but i've never had issues with it with putting it on my um, face before and i usually do like a very very little amount so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna use my mitt we're gonna start on the arms and i usually do like one pump per like I'll do one pump for the whole arm, one pump for the whole arm. I'll do one pump for my shin, my knee to my shin, one pump for my thigh to my butt. I actually just did two pumps of that for my arm. So I'll start by putting it not on my joints first and just kind of like smushing this in. And then when I don't have a lot of product, I'll go over my elbows and my hands. I don't like to put a lot on those areas because those that's where like the self tanner will stick the most. So you really don't need a lot on those areas. So I'll leave this on for two hours. So I'll just go ahead and show you what I do for the face. I'm just gonna take whatever's left on the mitt and just go over my face and my neck very sparingly. I don't really go towards the eyes. I'll kind of just go around them and go around the face. And I will wash this off of my face after an hour, and then we will contour using self tanner. So I'll show you guys what that looks like, but I leave it on the whole body for two hours. Face one hour, contour one hour. Okay, so while I let the self tanner sit, I'm going to set a timer for an hour, and then we will come in and wash off the face. I did put on my little robe. I got this off of Etsy, I think. Um, ordered this in college with a bunch of girls on my color guard team and we match and yeah it's actually really comfortable though i definitely recommend getting one of these like wa waffle knit robes especially if you live in the south and it gets hot because i still wear this in the summer and it's totally fine i don't get too warm so for an hour i think i'm gonna go um fix my hair and i i'm wearing a turby twist by the way i love these this is a microfiber towel um, it came in a two pack from tj maxx highly recommend using those instead of like actual towels towels in your hair that like 
is not good it's too rough on your hair but anyways i need to wash my brushes do my hair probably by then it'll be time to fix my face because washing my brushes takes me like literally 45 minutes <laughs> so i'll probably see you then um and then i might do some editing as well so but yeah i'll see you guys in an hour okay so it has been officially an hour i'm going to wash off the self tanner for my face and uh, then we're going to do the contour. Probably should have clipped my hair back first. And again, before I go in with the self tanner, I am going to moisturize my face. So again, I'm going to take my same self tanner that I've been using. And this is like a, this is crown brushes. I think this is supposed to be a blush brush, but it's like domed, I don't know how else to say it, but it fits really well into like the contours of my cheeks. So I'm just gonna do a little squirt. I start off with like not a lot, then I'll go in with more if I need it. And I'm gonna go right where I would put contour on my cheeks, my temples, a little bit on the jawline. This, the jawline like actually really works a lot. It looks really good once you wash it off. And it does actually like take a day to fully set. So even when I wash it off today, it won't be the color that it will be tomorrow. It'll be like fully developed in like 12 to 24 hours. And then I like to do a little bit with whatever's left over to contour my nose. And that's it. And you can clean up if you want with like a wet, towel like really sharp lines but actually i think i am going to do that because i kind of did this side lower than this side so let me clean that up okay so i'm going to set the timer for another hour and then i'm going to wash it all off of my face and my body in the shower i'll just do like a quick rinse with like room temp water so i'll see you guys in an hour okay guys it has officially been two hours since I put on my self tanner. So I'm going to hop in the shower real quick and wash it off. Okay, so I just washed off the self tanner and I mean, you can't really tell just yet, but I am a little more tan than I was before. You could tell a little bit contour, but I went ahead and put on my stress relief uh, eucalyptus tea body oil while I was still in the shower. So I just toweled off and put this on immediately because I like to have this be on my kind of like still wet skin so that way it'll not wet but still like warm from the shower skin because it kind of penetrates better in my opinion and now i'm gonna try the method that self care by Catherine does so she sprays then adds lotion then sprays again so i think i'm going to try that so we're just gonna spray on the arms And again, I'm using the Vanilla Mocha Cafe from the fall. I really love this. Um, I'm going to spray my legs now. <laughs> I really love this scent in the fall time. It's so cozy. And I'm actually like sad that I'm going to be without it um, if I finish it up. But I don't plan on finishing up the fragrance mist. So I'll still have that for this upcoming fall. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the body lotion, and now the sun is getting in the way. Okay, I had to bring you guys a little further backwards because the sun is kind of getting in my way. I'm going to go on the arms. This smells so good. It's like so cozy smelling. Okay, we're going to put it on the legs. I can already tell that this is going to last a lot longer than it usually does because it's like super strong right now. So now we're going to go on with another layer. Okay. So I usually like to let the, the lotion dry a little bit before putting on clothes. So I'll usually just like put my robe back on for another like 10 or 15 minutes until everything's dry. But I did say I was going to use coconut cream powder, but I don't think I'm going to actually do that. So I think I'm already moisturized enough. And if I put this on, I would be like blubber. I would just be too sticky. So we're not putting this on today, but this would have been really good with it. 
So that's everything for my weekend shower routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go do my hair and makeup and probably film some other videos after this. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you have a specific weekend routine that you do. If you always shave on the weekends or you always self tan or you always have to have a candle going, like let me know what your weekend routine looks like. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.